how to use Wix booking. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be telling you how you can use Wix's booking platform. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So first things first, I'm over onto Wix.com over here. This is their website and what you're going to do is just simply sign up. Now the sign up process is very easy. All you have to do is click on get started, add in your email address or sign up with Google. I recommend signing up with Google because it is much, much more easier. Now I've already signed up, so I'm going to go ahead and log in and show you how it looks like once you have logged in into Wix.com. So once you have logged in, this will be your dashboard over here. And if you have already created a website and done everything over there, then this will be your dashboard over here. You will see everything. But if you haven't made any website, then your dashboard might be a little bit different because then you will have to have created a website for you. You'll need to create one for yourself. So I'm just simply going to go over here. I'm just simply going to click over here and go to all sites. And uh, this is probably how it's yours is going to look like. And I'm just simply going to go ahead and click on create a new website. It'll take me over to the Wix editor where they'll ask me a couple of different questions. And let me see the templates if I choose to see them. So this is how it will look like. And over here, they'll be asking you what kind of website are you creating? You can go ahead and search for your own website or you can go ahead and skip it. I'm going to skip it for now because we're going to be searching for templates either way. So we'll just click on skip and they'll be asking us what do you want to add to your website so okay so over here you will have your booking option as well you can choose to add that over onto your website but as you can see they've updated it before they didn't ask you this kind of questions pricing plans or stuff like that or any other tool or app you want to add into your website now they do so we're just going to go ahead and click on add booking if you you know skipped it add it later and i'm going to show you how you can add that later so i'm just going to skip it for now and add no apps so that i can show you how you can basically do it on your own so over here you have your two options adi or edit a template what adi is it's basically you know a you know, artificial intelligence software for wix that ask you a bunch of questions and then determines which websites is most suitable for you so you can go ahead and check it out or if you want so um, for now i'm just simply going to go ahead and click on edit a template i'm just simply going to go ahead and search for it so let's just assume that your website or your business is something that it's related to booking right let's just say that we have a yoga place or a yoga website and we have a lot of clients so we need bookings as that so we'll just search for yoga and over here we uh, we can see we have a bunch of different websites or a bunch of different templates to choose from and we can choose whichever one we want so let's just go ahead and choose a simple one okay so this one looks pretty nice but i don't know i i'm scared by this woman she is bending in ways that i do not understand so we'll just we're not going to choose that one because that looks scary. It does look interesting, but it's scary as well. So we're going to choose this one, actually, the second one. This looks pretty nice. It's peaceful and it really feels like a yoga website. So we're just going to go ahead and view it and see how it looks like. And then we can edit it later on. OK, so as you can see, the website is very, very nice. It has all these different animations and stuff like that. We have the, uh, you know, yoga poses as well. And we have other things and information. So we're just going to, you know, choose this one and we'll just go ahead and click on edit this site. We're going to go over to the edit template editor now it takes sometimes it takes a little bit of a second to you know load up all the templates so let's just a little bit of seconds and just simply wait for it to load up okay so the website has been loaded up and as you can see we can go ahead and start editing it so over here as you can see we have a lot of different options over here we can edit almost anything that we want we can change this image we can change this section over here this column we can change the you know fonts or logo or whatever we want we can even change the vector arts as well and if i come down over here we can change all these different things as well so these are some of the uh, you know popular sections so we're just going to go over here click on manage services and it'll tell us all of the booking services over here so as you can see this type of website already has all the uh, bookings pre-added but if you still didn't know how you can, you know, add the booking section. OK, where did it go? Well, we should probably move this, you know, or we could just let it slide over here. But we got to move this section or we could just add it over here. Whatever works, you know, put it over there. OK, so this is the section over here. So people can go ahead and start booking this right now. But if you didn't know how do you add a booking service as well, so as you can see, we're going to go over here, click on the plus button over here. What we're going to do is we're going to come over here and click on the menus and pages. And we're going to go ahead 
and add a page over here you can add a blank page if you want or you can add a whatever type of page you want so you have services pages over here you have projects you have contract general 404 error whatever but you can also add a blank page as well so if you add a blank page this is how it'll look like all right so as you can see this page is blank we're just going to go ahead and rename that to booking and once we've done that we'll click on done and there we go what we're going to do is we can move it down so over here as you can see the classes then we have the instructors then we have the about section we'll just put it right below the about section over here and we'll just simply close it up right so where is the page so this is the page right here as you can see this is how it looks like and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add an app over here we click on the app market and we'll search for and we'll just search for bookings once we search for bookings we're going to go ahead and see all these different types of booking applications that are available to us but we're going to choose wix's own booking application which is already installed so we'll just go ahead and click on that and click on add for me as you can see it's already installed over here onto this website but for you it might not be if you are making a website from scratch then you can just simply go ahead and click on add and it will be added and then you can go ahead and open that as well so let me just go back to my main page so this was the booking page all right the classes we'll just simply click on it and click on manage services this is going to open up the booking application settings and we can go ahead and manage it we can add different types of classes we can add different types of prices and stuff like that so right now as you can see we have all these services added we can go ahead and add more ones as well so we can go ahead and click on add a new service and it will open us it will ask us this option so is it a one-on-one -on -one or a multiple participant so we'll just go with a private consultation or a private session this is going to be the more uh, expensive one so because since it's one-on-one -on -one, so we'll just say this is a private session private session over here we can add in a service subtitle we'll just call it a beginner's introduction we can go ahead and add the images all right so for now there are no images we're gonna go over to the media for wix and uh, we're gonna try to find some illustrations so we'll just go ahead and search for yoga so these are the illustrations what about the images i don't really like these are some of the images that we have i don't think they'll, they'll go with our website so okay we'll just go with illustrations we'll search for exercise maybe we can find one over here no so yoga is the one i think so all right oh let's just go ahead and choose this one the golden chakra click on add page so this is how it's going to look like we have an appointment over here session is going to be one hour buffering time if we want to we can add a fixed price and we can add in the amount we'll go with 150 dollars you can change the um, type of amount you want depending upon your where you live and then we have staffs and stuff like that that are available and once you have everything done you can go ahead and click on save and you will have saved your your booking service that you want to have we also have booking calendar as well you can go ahead and bookings in the calendar if you want to but if you don't want to it all depends upon you as you can see we have already added a bunch of different you know bookings over here you to add a session all you have to do is click on add session over here you can choose the appointment block time class session whichever one you want and you choose the date and day and you are good to go and we have a bunch of different other things as well we have pricing plans subscriptions we have all those different things but those are for the websites the main thing that we had was for booking services booking calendar pricing plans and subscriptions and then we are done so it's basically how you you know edit your a website if you want to so it's, as you can see it's pretty simple it's really easy you can go ahead and edit whichever one you want you can add in images change the text change the background whatever or you can leave it at like as it is and once you have done everything just simply click on publish and your website will be published and it will be ready to be displayed for other people as well and there you go so that is how you basically use bookings for your website on Wix. And I hope you guys now understand it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below. And I'll be sure to answer them. And having said that, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, goodbye.